Well, good evening, St. John's. Yesterday was Mother's Day, which got me to remembering the first Mother's Day I spent after I was married. And I felt so hard done by at the time. I had my birth mother who was alive and who loved me. I had my stepmother who raised me, who was alive and loved me. My wife was pregnant with Henry. Cynthia's mother, Dorothy, uh, was in Alabama, as was Annie Ruth, uh, her godmother who had helped raise her. And there was an expectation from Cynthia that we would rightly send gifts to all these women, which was international postage. And I was so bent out of shape by the cost of it all and the expectation of it all. Um, and now, 20 odd years down the road, I look back and I think, you had all these women who loved you with the depth of a mother. And the only thing you could do was complain about how much it was going to cost to spend, send gifts. And I realize how often this is the case in life. When we have it all, uh, we complain about it. We're so busy we might complain. We're busy because we have jobs that we're capable of doing, that we have responsibilities in the community at church. We have children at home who want us to participate in their life. We have it all. And when we have it, we complain. And I think it's wisdom that reaches an older age and recognizes what a gift it all was, and what a waste to have spent that season complaining. And so for us now, no matter how old we get, I think it's still wisdom that lets us say, what is it that I have in my life? And rather than feeling burdened by it, to realize what a gift it is, that it won't last forever. At some point, all of it will come to an end. And our job today is to be grateful and to live in the joy of that gratitude. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord. 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, Kay Carver.